one fingering to rule them all. If you only knew one note, which is the E, and then I showed you this combination of numbers, parentheses, O's, and C's, and I asked you to now play a scale which has a whole, whole, half, whole, 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 half distances between your eight notes, would you be able to do it? First, find that E. You're going to open your hand. And there we are. We're going to follow that same rule. Ask ourselves, well, the next note is what? A half step. It's asking for a half step in between this right here and the next note. Well, that's not going to happen here because it's we can move up. So we're going to cross over, whole step back. Cross over, whole step back. Now we can shift up to the same string or we can cross over as well. And I'll say I put a question mark for a half. So you, if you cross over sometimes, there could be a half step in this context right here. It would be right here if you crossed over. Sometimes that happens. So, But let's shift up on the same string, okay? Remember what I said. When you shift up on the same string, are you shifting up a half step or whole step? Well, it is a whole step. So let's just follow that logic. Shift up a whole step. There it is. Close the hand up. One, two, four. Ooh, that works. And without thinking, I'm not thinking, I'm crossing over, I'm taking my, my, my marker, I'm going back a whole step, I'm not thinking, one, two, four, and then crossing over once more, taking this, one, two, it looks like I just played an E major scale. And for those of you out there, how many sharps did I play? I played four sharps, once more. Cross, whole step back. You can go cross, half step back. I'm going to jump up. Cross, whole step back. One, two, four. Cross, whole step back. One, three, four. Open that hand up. There is a way that you can play all minor scales with the same fingering without needing to do more thinking because cello is hard enough. All you need to know is the distances between the notes, which is here, how many notes you're playing, what note you're beginning and ending on. Don't ever presume that one says minor, they're saying melodic or harmonic. There are three modes. I'm simply stating play an E Aeolian mode or an E natural minor. We first find an E on our cello. Remember, two octaves. So we want to find the lowest E on our instrument. So we're going to look, and I believe this is an E right here. The next step is that we're going to play one, three, four. And then outside the parentheses, you see the letter C, which means in my pedagogy, closed. We have two different shapes of the hand along the neck. We have an open hand and a closed hand, or extended and non-extended. So O means open, as in extension, and closed, C, means relaxed. Open, closed, open, closed. So we start with a closed hand position. Put your index finger on the E. There's no extension, so all your fingers are spaced a half step apart. We need to play in these first three notes a whole step and a half step. There it is. And then after that half step, the next letter in our combination of letters at the top here is a W. And that W is a whole step. If I'm going to shift up into the same string, I need to make sure that there is a whole step in between the last digit I play and the next digit. But instead, I'm going to cross over to a different string and I'm going to find that note. 
and I'm going to go a whole step back. I'm not going to think. I'm going to see one, three, four close and play these notes and trust the system. And now the next step is that we move to a third hand position, a one, two, four, and that X means it's an extension. I'm going to have to put a one. I'm going to shift over, but my whole step back is going to put a zero. So we're going to have to shift up on the same string. We're going to move a whole step up right here and we're going to open the hand from that position. So we're going to do the extension E F sharp. The next position is going to be a whole step difference between this right here keep the hand open, which is nice. And then sometimes it depends. There may be a half step or a whole step change here. There is a whole step change once back. So it's one, two, four open cross whole step back one, two, four cross back one, two, four. And that is a two octave Aeolian E scale or a two octave natural minor scale. One, three, four. Shift one, three, four. Shift one, two, plus four. Shift one, two, four. Keep it open. Shift. Go reverse. Close the hand. Remember, cello is a world of opposites. So when you ascend the scale, you change to a higher string, you go a whole step back. You change to a higher string, whole step back. To go higher, you go back. To go lower, you jump up. As you're here, we're going to cross over, going to a lower string, we're going to jump up. Here, we're going to jump up. It's never directly across in scales, so it's here. This position, it's an open hand position, cross over, whole step up, cross over, whole step up. On the same string, make sure that you have your distance of whole step, close that hand up, and then cross over, whole step up. One, three, four, one, three, four, one, two, four, one, two, four, one, two, four. 